Welcome to my channel. This is a continuation of my playlist, which you can find in the description. This is the playlist right here, and I'm currently working on a playlist to ensure that you have everything you need to write good content. Now, because of an update to ChatGPT, which it looks like it was only two days ago, custom instructions are now available for everyone including free users. Now, this might not be true. I think it's true, though. It does say it's for everyone, not just for pro users. I currently don't have access. I think Europe and the UK currently do not have access for some reason. I think it's some privacy thing or whatever. But basically, what I wanted to show you is if it is available for free users who can use GPT 3.5, we can get some insane results from this. So let me just show you what I mean. Remember, this is GPT 3.5. Please write me the first part of an article about black tie attire for men. The reason I always choose black tie attire for men is because I can judge very easily whether or not an article is good or whether or not an article is bad just by looking at it. So what can you see that's different? All I wrote was, please write me the first part of an article about black tie attire for men. And instead of just giving me absolute crap, what it's done is given me a pretty good article. Right, the next part. So this is super interesting for a few reasons. Number one, apparently, from what I've seen, although it's, it's kind of up in the air at the moment, ChatGPT 3.5 actually ranks pretty well on Google. So apparently it wants to continue, so I'm just going to say, please continue. doesn't want to stop for some reason. It's just going to keep going. Okay, now it's just repeating, I think. Nope, it's still going. This is literally one article. That's actually crazy. Okay, finally, that's the end of the article. Okay, so what did I do differently? Obviously, I'm using custom instructions here because, look, we've got internal links. We've got um, tables. We're supposed to have lists, but as usual, it, it does everything except the one. It always does everything except one thing, okay? Let me just quickly, before I show you what I'm doing to get these results, let me just show you um, how you can get this into, a, um, into an article. So I just like to press copy at the top here, and then I put it into markdown to HTML. I like to delete the little bits of text that obviously shouldn't be here, like to be continued, etc., etc. And that's it. That's literally it. So now we have a complete article that probably took a few seconds to write. Um, how can I see how many word? Word counter tool. Good old word counter dot net. Okay, let's have a look. Number of words, 2,000 words, chat GPT 3.5, and it really did not take very long. So let's talk about how this works. Let's click on custom instructions and let's break this down. So basically what I'm doing is I'm giving the mega prompt at the beginning, okay, inside the custom instructions. I'm telling it how to do everything. So I want you to always internal, it should say internally link, but whatever, at least once per article that you write. I want you to always use each internal link at least, no, a maximum a maximum of once per article that you write. You're going to write for me. And when you write, I want you to specifically respond in a way that is not considered robotic. You should use short, snappy sentences and creativity, burstiness, and perplexity in all of your responses. You should try to internally link through Ahref anchor text keywords a man maximum of once per article. So actually, I can change, I can change this back. What I'm basically saying at the beginning is I want you to at least uh, use one or two internal links. You should create tables and lists when you want to break up large pieces of content. You are writing for two men dot it. This, this is fundamental, this part, guys. You need to put your business here. A luxury Italian multi-brand store specializing in high-quality brands. These are my brands. And when you mention one, you should write collections and then the brand name and also the product with an S on the end. For example, collections slash kit on jeans. This works really, really well. If you spend 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes creating 
a custom instruction that is specific for your business and you give it all of this information, this is how you can get 3.5 to write just like I have been showing everyone how to get four to write, okay? This is the secret. This is what we're all waiting for. It's finally here, okay? And then how would you like GPT to respond? Respond in Markdown, write fully formatted articles that can be copied and pasted directly into a CMS and that will rank on Google. Give your opinion on topics, but make sure to remain fairly neutral. Give real life examples occasionally. Every few paragraphs respond with a list or a table. So that's it. That's how I'm currently getting 3.5 to write content that's as good, if not better, than ChatGPT4. This is a super, super exciting time right now because we can finally get the content that we want for free, basically. That's if custom instructions are available to everyone. I apologize if they're not. There's no way for me to really see that. Um, but yeah. It, you do also have to be very, very careful because it will still make up um, it will still make up links, although actually thinking about it, it hasn't made up the link here. So basically the problem is I wrote KNT streetwear in the custom instructions. So it's, it follows the custom instructions to an absolute T. So be careful. I do not have streetwear, uh, et cetera, as a topic. So I need to put uh, shorts, for example, or let's just put jeans. Um, what else do we have from KNT? Can't remember. I may as well just show you this just because I think people might find this interesting. You need to know what you're selling, obviously. So we'll go on KNT here. And then I like to click on product type and now I know what we sell and how many of each one there is. So we've got a lot of sneakers. So we'll put sneakers here. Oops. I'll just show you this because I think it's it's pretty important to the make the making of the prompt. Uh, we've got sweaters, etc. So the problem with Shopify though is, for example, just because we have sweaters doesn't mean that I've made the category of sweaters. Okay, luckily I have, um, but that's not always the case. So sometimes while you're doing this process, you will have to make new collections, new categories, etc. So yeah, just make sure that you also have a very, very clean URL structure. Let me show you an example of a bad one. If I go on Cesare Tellini and click on Blazers, um, because it takes the title and puts it as the URL, as you can see here, it's taken the title and it's put it as the URL. So this is a bit of a problem. Make sure that you are using a very clean URL structure. So this should be like this without the sports blazer at the end because then after uh, this comes into play and you can use 3.5 to write all your content now, which is super, super cool. Unfortunately, I don't actually have access to this. Uh, I'm using someone from the Discord, shout out to Windrider for letting me use their account. Thank you so much for that. As usual, you can find everything in the description. I'll leave a Google document in the description, but this is really, really cool. And the fact that you can now make 3.5 right as well as four is an absolute game changer. Thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.